New tonight, after several years of talking about updating the break wall, the Evanstown supervisor says the need for repairs at the Sturgeon Point Marina is crucial, and now they finally have the funding to make improvements. Two on your side's Jackie Roberts gives us a look at what could be in store. The town of Evans is made up of about 12 shoreline miles. The water drawing visitors from across the region, many to this marina at Sturgeon Point. But town supervisor Mary Hostler says their community gem could be in jeopardy down the line. It's at a critical failure. You need to address it. Hostler took us to the break wall to show us some of the problem areas. For example, these sections of the walkway marked yellow to show concrete starting to rise or lower. Hostler says the marina was built in the 1980s, and frankly, it's just getting old. And there's debate over whether or not it was designed properly in the first place. Water's powerful, and without it being pinned over time, it just falls. The purpose of this wall is to protect the inner harbor. As you can see, on this side, the waves are rough, crashing onto the shoreline. Yet on this side, where the boats are docked, it's much calmer. And as the wall becomes more worn down, that may be at risk. You wouldn't be able to keep boats on the lake if, it could, if we didn't have the wall to protect it. Hostler tells us she and other community members have spent three years trying to make a change. And now they finally have the funds to do it. Once the repairs were deemed a priority by the Regional Economic Development Council, the town received a $1.2 million grant with a match. But Hostler hopes in the end, the town will have to come up with just 10% of the total cost. It's something that we could never afford to do on our own. So without a grant, we would not have been able to do this repair. The pre-construction phase is already underway. Friday, crews were out measuring the depth of the bedrock. Hostler estimates next year will be the design phase and the construction should begin in early 2021. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.